What's up everyone? Today I want to give you some tips on how to get the most out of our goblet squats. Now, typically at quality strength we're going to do our goblet squat with either a dumbbell or a kettlebell. One of the important things to keep in mind while you're doing your goblet squat is that the elbows have to stay forward. Okay? Forearms being vertical is really good. It's going to keep the elbows under the weight and help you support the weight better so that your core can take the weight instead of having to have your arms hold on to the weight. It's also going to help you keep your back up into a better position. So what we want to do is get our weight up into position here and notice how my elbows are right underneath it. Oftentimes when people are first learning the movement, they let the weight come down here by their belly, the elbows dip back. What that means is when you're going to do your squat, that weight's going to pull your chest down. When we're doing our goblet squat, we want to keep that chest up nice and proud like that, come down straight back up. So with a kettlebell, what that looks like is here or even right here. We're going to hold that weight with the elbows right underneath it. Now in our warm-ups, we often do forearm goblets. This is a great exercise to warm up the mobility and the movement that's necessary in the shoulders and to engage the chest properly to get those elbows forward and underneath. So when you're doing your forearm goblets and you're bringing your elbows together before you make this big circle up, really focus on squeezing those elbows together. That's going to help you get a good goblet squat position, help keep your back in order there, help keep the weight well supported so that you can really hammer those legs and hammer the core with the heaviest weight that you can, not have your arms or a out of place back position be the limiting factor. So that's your tip for today. Get the most out of your goblet squats. Always keep those elbows forward, keep the chest tight, keep the abs tight, and you'll be able to lift real good weight. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.